Ataturk is often cited as an example of a prominent historical figure who was an atheist, especially in the context of his secularizing reforms in Turkey. His policies include abolishing the caliphate, closing religious courts and schools, banning religious attire in public offices, introducing a secular education system, replacing Islamic law with a secular civil code. These actions, combined with some of his statements, led many historians and commentators, including British philosopher, author, and journalist Julian Baghini, to conclude that Ataturk was an atheist. In August 1942, Hitler remarked, How fast Kemal Ataturk dealt with his priests is one of the most amazing chapters of history. At one time, he just executed 39 of them. He has eradicated them completely. Hitler considered priests the cancer of politics. He admired Ataturk's resolve in his fight against the church and saw Turkey as superior to Italy as a role model in this regard, viewing these actions as swift and effective, aligning with his own anti-clerical views and desire to diminish the power of religious institutions. Ataturk was Hitler's shining star in the darkness. The Third Reich instituted a veritable cult of Ataturk. The Nazi admiration provides a lens for a fresh look at Kemalism. In spite of its pretensions to stand for enlightenment, Ataturk's regime was authoritarian in nature. Ataturk's Turkey was celebrated as the first non-communist one-party state. In 1931, Mussolini agreed with the judgment that, among all the post-war dictatorships, Mustafa Kemal's regime was the most successful one. The German National Socialists developed an infatuation with Mustafa Kemal early on, from the moment when he rebelled against the Ottoman Sultan and against the peace treaty that had been imposed on the Ottoman state after the First World War. Newspapers repeatedly called for the application of Turkish lessons to Germany. The National Socialists were strongly motivated by the Turkish War of Independence in their endeavors to liberate Germany. In his defense speech in 1924, when Hitler stood trial for his failed putsch in Munich the year before, he legitimized his action by referring to Mustafa Kemal's assumption of power in Ankara in 1920. Hitler stated that Mustafa Kemal had carried out the most perfect of the two revolutions, the other being Mussolini's in 1922. 